Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be continuing my closet declutter. I recently posted a closet declutter video and I just did it in fast motion with some music and you guys were asking me how long did it take, if I could talk some more and explain things. So I decided that I'm gonna put some music in this video as well ex as explain things and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm just going through the rest of my clothes, decluttering what doesn't fit me, what I don't like, what I haven't worn in forever and don't ever plan to wear. I'm going to organize my shoes, put them in shoe bins. I'm going to eliminate some space from the floor. I'm going to switch out some of the colored hangers to all white hangers. I'm just doing a lot of decluttering and organizing and it really felt good. This was a four day declutter. So some of you were asking how long it took me. So in this particular video, I incorporated four different days of decluttering and each day took me about an hour and a half to two hours. I always filmed it when my son was napping. And the reason that I didn't talk in the video is because my son's room is right next to my closet and his bed is actually up against that wall. So I was trying to be as quiet as possible. So I didn't talk during any of the videos and I just figured that I would do a voiceover. So um, in this section here, I'm just going through all my dresses and getting rid of the ones that don't fit me. This one's not even that cute of a dress, but it's kind of like a lounge around the house dress. And a lot of these dresses I've had forever. I actually had them from my first pregnancy, which was in 2015, 2014, 2015. And they're just way too big. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on maternity clothes so what I did is I just bought some regular dresses and that worked just fine so now I'm just getting rid of them all and also other ones that are just too big for me and ones that I don't like this one's actually a maternity dress and I wore that to my baby shower but um, and then I'm just organizing them by color and this little dress here I got that for like 65 cents at Ross like years ago and I haven't worn it it still has a tag I know but it still fits so I don't want to get rid of it eventually I will wear it one day so I'm gonna play some music now but I will come back and chat with you guys in a little bit in the darkest night I saw your eyes That I can't forget I wanna know who you are This what I need to know oh, oh. So take my hand and let our fears go Take me to your jungle Where the rain is warm and the birds fly Take me to your kingdom Yeah, take me to the Yeah, take me to the So I got rid of some belts that were too big for me. I also went through my scrubs. I didn't get rid of any yet, but I may need to because some of them might be too big. And now I'm just going through my sandals that I have in this little shoe holder that I got at Ikea a really long time ago, but I ended up um, getting rid of that holder as you will see later in this video. But I'm just going through my sandals and just kind of deciding which ones I don't want anymore. Some of these are super old and some of these I just never wear. So, and I don't even like them anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of some now and then I put some back, but then later I decide to get rid of more. No words describe your savage life Ooh, let's give it a go like a purpose shows I wanna know who you are This world I need to know oh, oh. So take my hand and let our fears go 
So in these bags, I had some Halloween costumes that were extremely old and very sexy. <laughs> I mean, I had these from when I was in my 20s, and I am now 39. I've held on to them way too long. The only one I'm keeping is the Wonder Woman one, and then like some little accessories, like some cat ears, a cat tail, and stuff like that like a cop hat, but other than that, I'm getting rid of all of the other Halloween costumes, and now I'm just gonna go through all those dresses and fold them up so I can get rid of them. So now I'm going through all my pants. I have some jeans and some kind of lounge leggings. And I had gotten rid of like two full trash bags, maybe even three, maybe like six months ago, maybe even like eight months ago. I don't know. It was a while ago, but I got rid of a ton of jeans because they just didn't fit me anymore. So I'm kind of just going back through the ones that I have just to see if there's any that I don't want. There is some, but not a whole lot. So I'm not getting rid of a lot of pants. Um, I'm just organizing them a little bit better, kind of organizing them by color. So I will also do that with my leggings, not my activewear leggings, because that's a whole nother situation. I have way too many, but I love activewear. I saw your eyes A sense of threat that I can't forget I wanna know who you are This what I need to know oh, oh. So take my hand and let our fears go oh. Take me to your jungle Where the rain is warm and the birds fly Take me to your kingdom So this is the stuff that I got rid of on day one. Not a whole lot, but trust me, there's gonna be a whole lot more progress made as you continue watching. So now I'm gonna get into day two of my decluttering. So I'm gonna say shh a second because my son's room is right next to this uh, closet and I didn't wanna wake him up so I was trying to be really quiet, but I bought some storage containers from Walmart and I will try to find them online and link them below if you're curious. I got two separate ones because I wasn't really sure which ones I was going to like. Um, I had some already that I had gotten at Ross and I just couldn't find them anymore and I liked the ones that I already previously had but I just like I said I can't find them anymore so I had to find something else. So I bought two different ones from Walmart to see which ones I liked better. So the ones that I'm sticking my shoes in, they're a little bit bigger and then they snap on the sides and I ended up liking those a little bit better, but I did end up using the gray ones for like sandals. Well, you'll see me like switch them out later because I kind of wasn't sure what I wanted to do. 
Um, but you can see those two shoe racks behind me. They're on my husband's side of the closet and I've just had those forever and they just take up so much space on the floor and I really want to free up and declutter the closet. So I decided I wanted to put all my shoes in containers and get rid of those shoe racks. So I'm just taking all those shoes, putting them in the bins, and then I'm gonna start organizing them on the other side of the closet. But for now, I'm putting some of the tennies in the silver lid bins, which I will switch them out later. So I'm gonna get rid of some shoes as well as organize them. So those silver Skechers I had shown, I'm getting rid of those because they're too big, they don't fit me. I bought them during my first pregnancy because my feet went from a size nine to a size 10 and I never wore them and my feet went back to my normal size. So I'm a size nine again and so I just never wore those Skechers so I need to sell them. Those black tennies, I bought them at Target. I don't like them, I never wear them. Those boots, I don't like them, they're ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of them. These shoes I also bought from Target a long time ago. I never wear them and I don't really care for them. And then these Adidas are cute, I just don't wear them. I remember they were kind of like, they felt like they were loose or I don't know, my feet are kind of narrow so. Um, I don't know. I just remember not loving them when I would wear them. They weren't like super comfortable. So I'm going to get rid of those. Those Birkenstocks I used to love and I wore the heck out of them. But I think they stretched out because they're like made out of like a plastic material. So they're a size 9 but I think I need to size down to a size 8 because now they just seem too big. Okay so now I'm going to go through the top portion of my closet. So I'm just taking everything off of the shelves and then I went to clean it and spraying it and trying to get the dust off was like the worst idea. It's kind of like creating mud. <laughs> so I ended up going back later and vacuuming it. Um, I couldn't do it during the filming of this video just because my son's room is next to my closet so I didn't want to wake him up while he was napping. Um, so I'm just going through all of my shoes. Some of these shoes up there are dress shoes. I haven't worn them in probably over five years, maybe even 10 years, I don't know. Some of them are really, really old, so I ended up getting rid of a lot of shoes. Those were actually my wedding shoes, those pink ones. Um, and then I showed you my wedding dress like earlier in the video. So yeah, I'm just going through all of those shoes, getting rid of the ones that I don't want, and then putting the ones I am keeping in the little bins. Um, it's just so much more organized. I can see what I have. Obviously, I have to like get up on a stool to like get up there and get the shoes I want to wear. But the ones that I'm putting up on the left side, those are the shoes that I don't wear very often. All right, so here is day three. I decided to move all of my tank tops from the bottom rack to the top rack so that they would be up there with my t-shirts. I still have tank tops on the bottom, but those are my active wear tank tops. So I'm not really sure like how I was gonna organize it at this point. I'm just kind of like going with the flow and I end up rearranging things, <laughs> you will see. But, um. So I'm just going through some more shoes. Um, I had some shoes in shoe boxes that I wanted to put in more storage bins. So I had to go back to Walmart and buy some more of those storage bins. And I got the bigger ones with the little clasp for the tennies. And then you will see I'm taking down some of the ones from the day before that I had put some shoes in. And I'm going to take the tennies out of those and I'm going to put the sandals in those because I just feel like the sandals fit in there a little better because those silver lid containers are a little bit more narrow and smaller so the sandals just fit good in there and then I put the tennies in the bigger storage containers with the snaps um, those are the ones that I had bought a second set of so I'm just rearranging things again like I said I'm just kind of filling it out figuring out how I want to organize and you just end up switching things up you know once you start organizing stuff then you're like no I don't like it this way I'm going to do it a different way so that's kind of what I'm doing 
and I wanted to get rid of that black shoe rack like I had mentioned before and just put all my shoes in bins. It's just much more organized. I can see what I have. Nothing's lost. And I also think I got rid of some of more of those sandals. I'm not sure. So now I'm going to go through this dresser and go through each drawer. So these are some sports bras. I'm going to get rid of the ones that are too big. Some of those are super old. They're like a size large. I don't even wear size large. Um, and then the rest of these, these are some ones from Old Navy that still fit me. But if you guys um, are not aware, I had breast implants removed in July and so I went from like a 36C to like a 34A so surprisingly all my medium sports bras still fit me so I kept most of those but some of them don't have padding and I need the padding it's funny because before when I had implants I never wanted the padding and I always take it out and now I'm like in desperate need of some padding because <laughs> my boobs are so tiny but now I'm going to go through my pajama drawers I have some wild and crazy pajama bottoms um these are from Walmart. They're super comfortable and I have some Christmas ones and just all kinds of different designs, but they're very affordable. They're so comfy and so stretchy. And so, yeah, and they're really old. I've had them forever, but I like them. Some of them are different materials, like the Christmassy ones are very fuzzy and soft. And, and then there was a couple other like wintry ones. They're more like a flannel material. And then these other ones here, they're just like a thinner, stretchier material. So I have a lot of them, but I always wear these. I grab for these all the time. I just wear them around the house. I don't wear them out. And so I rolled them up. I decided that that method was just easier to see what I have and it fit more because before I had them like folded and stacked and I just couldn't see what I had and I would just shove stuff in a drawer. So I feel like this way I can really see what I have, pick what I want to use. Nothing's going to get neglected and hidden. So... Um, I'm just rolling up the pajamas and I have another drawer full of them. So I end up ended up putting all the leggings, like the specific kind of leggings in one drawer. Then in the second drawer down, which is not technically the second one down, it's like the fourth one down, I put the more like jogger style pajama bottoms and then I put the matching tops in the fifth drawer down one two three four yeah in the fifth drawer down 
Initially, I kind of paired them together in the drawer, but then I decided to put them down below in a different drawer, the tops anyway. So yeah, these joggers that I'm folding up, they're super soft and comfortable. They're also from Walmart. They always have them every year, like these camo ones. I love them, but the waistband is getting all twisted and it's driving me a little nuts. But other than that, they're super comfy and they have really cute designs. So now in the last drawer of this dresser, I had swimsuits and like some cover-ups and sh some swim shorts and stuff like that. So I'm just going through the swimsuits. I'm getting rid of quite a few of them because of my breast implant removal. A lot of them don't fit me anymore, especially on the top. And then some of them are a little bit big on the bottom because I've lost weight. So it felt nice to get rid of a lot of those. And then I'm just organizing some of my summer pajamas. I'm just kind of stacking them on top of the other ones. So I decided to move all my activewear tanks over and I had moved my shorts that were hanging up on that side over to the side where the jeans were so that I could hang up all these leggings. Do you see? This is only half of my collection. Like it's crazy ridiculous. Um, I have another dresser in my bedroom that has a lot of leggings organized by color. These are just stacked. Um, some of them are newer. Some of them I haven't really worn. That's why they're stacked here, just so I can kind of rotate through them. And I want to eventually do some reviews on activewear, which is why I have so many. Well, I, I'm just, instead of being addicted to makeup now, I'm kind of addicted to buying leggings because I go to the gym so much and I just love activewear now. So I buy a lot of different ones. And I have tried to film reviews on leggings but I got self-conscious about my body and stuff so I never posted them but I'm going to try my best my body is not where I want it yet I'm just having a hard time losing like a little bit of excess body fat and especially around my lower abdomen area and I was just like really self-conscious when I filmed those videos and so I just deleted the footage and I was like yeah, I'm not posting these but you know we all have different body types and I feel like it would be helpful for those who are not like super skinny in the waist you know what i mean because i watch a lot of activewear reviews but i feel like a lot of them are like have this super tiny waist and then these like nice hips or a nice little booty and that's just not me but you know we're not all that figure so i feel like it would be helpful for other people if i do some reviews for on a different body type than the other people that review stuff you know um anyway i'm just hanging up the leggings i put three on a hanger these are like some heavy duty hangers i got at walmart i usually like these for my jeans but i bought some more so that i can hang the leggings on so i'm putting three and i'm not really organizing them by color at the moment i'm just doing them by brand mostly by brand um so i have all kinds of different brands these crazy orange leopard print ones i wore to the gym the other day the day before halloween because they were having um, wear your Halloween costume to the gym day and I didn't want to wear a costume so I just wore those crazy leggings for the first time um, and I don't I like the style of them but I don't they're a little wild for me actually um, so those were by Yogalicious these ones that I'm hanging right now are by Old Navy and like I said I'm just organizing them kind of by brand right now and I have some uh, leggings from AliExpress I have some from Amazon Betsy Johnson Kai Kyoden, or I don't even know how you say it. Um, it's like a more expensive brand, but I didn't pay full price. I actually got a lot of these leggings I got from TJ Maxx. If you go on tjmaxx.com and you check frequently, they'll carry some of the nicer brands of activewear versus the ones in the store. I mean, I find some in store sometimes that are right, nice, but a lot of times I end up ordering them from tjmaxx.com and they do have some really nice ones. And if I don't like them, I just return them in store and it's super easy. So um, these ones here, again, these are from Old Navy. I just have a variety, mostly affordable activewear. And yeah, I wanna start reviewing it for you guys. I just need to get over being self-conscious about those types of try-on videos and just bite the bullet and do it and post it. So eventually I wanna hang up all of my activewear leggings. So in this video, I'm just doing the ones that are stacked on the dresser and then I want to get the ones out of the other dresser in my bedroom and hang those up as well. And then I'll move like 
all the stuff that's in my dresser in my closet. I have like my underwear and my bras and my socks and some more sports bras in that Ikea dresser. And I want to get rid of that Ikea dresser. So um, if I move all the stuff out of there into the other dresser, then I can get rid of it. So that is my goal. So I had to use two different cameras when filming this day. My memory card was full and it takes forever to offload the footage onto my computer. So I switched to my older camera <laughs> and I cannot get the footage off of there. So basically what I did was I cleaned up the floor and bagged up some stuff that I was getting rid of, some of the leggings that I was getting rid of, sports bras and some sandals. But um, that footage I won't be able to show you just because I can't get it off the other camera for some reason the camera software needed to be updated but the newest software for that is not compatible with the newest mac software so <laughs> that's the reason i can't get it off so anyway um i'm just going through more leggings and just figuring out what i want to keep what i want to get rid of i just kind of went through these seamless leggings here and decided to get rid of a little bit of them not too many and then i ended up filming a little clip right here of me talking about what things I'm getting rid of, but I don't know what happened to the volume. Something happened. It just didn't work. It's not working. So I have to voice over it, but I was just saying that I'm getting rid of these little laser cut leggings that I never even wore because as soon as I put them on and wore them for five minutes, I could not stand how it felt on my legs. Those little holes were so itchy. Oh, they were terrible. So then I have some seamless bras in here I'm getting rid of that are just too big and then some other leggings in that bag that are too big for me. They're like a size medium large and they're just too big. And then I have that other bag off to the right with a bunch of seamless leggings and some of them are too sheer. When you squat you can see your booty crack which is not cool with me. And some of them are too big because I got them a really long time ago before I lost weight. Some of the materials are too thick for wearing here in Arizona. And yeah, I'm just getting rid of those. And then I have a bag full of all the sandals that I got rid of. So now this is day four, I believe. Um, so I'm just getting some of the white hangers off of my husband's clothes. And I decided to put all of my clothes in white hangers just so it looks nice and neat. So that's just what I'm doing right here is just, I'm just getting some of his white hangers and switching them out for the colored hangers. I didn't want to go out and buy all new hangers because we have plenty of hangers and he doesn't care about like organization. I actually organize his side of the closet like by color and stuff. So what I'm doing here is this I'm just hanging up more leggings. These are my seamless leggings and you know seamless leggings are so popular and I just I don't know I have issues with some of them. I'm trying to love them one the material I feel like sometimes it's just too hot here in Arizona and I don't like the ones that don't have a seam on the back of the butt because I feel like a lot of times they're not very squat proof in my opinion sometimes they are sometimes they're not it just depends on the legging but I always feel like you can see your booty crack and then sometimes it looks makes you look like you have a unibutt which I don't like and I do like when they have a seamless waistband and no seam in the front. That's always nice, but I like it when it has a seam in the back. So these ones here are the ones that I ended up keeping because I do like them. Some of them have like a little mini scrunch in the butt. So it's like a little mini seam on the back, which I feel like helps disguise your booty shadow or your booty crack and it separates the butt cheek. So it's not like a unibutt. Anyway, now I'm just kind of rolling up some more shorts, hanging up some more leggings. Some of these are from Colorful Koala and Camo Fitness. And then finally, I decided, you know what? I need to go through my long sleeve shirts and just start getting rid of some because I have so many that I've kept for so long and a lot of these don't fit me anymore. So. Take my hand and let our fears go Take me to your 
felt so nice to get rid of two full trash bags two more in addition to I don't know how many other ones I had I had so many I like filled up my trunk and gave a bunch of the clothes that I previously decluttered to my friend who sends them to her family in the Philippines um, and then I also had like those smaller bags that I had shown you earlier in this video but there will be a part three so stay tuned for that love you guys have a great day thanks for watching bye